Many people seek to live abroad, especially cities in Europe, America, and Asia. This rush to relocate is born out of the desire to reside in a city that offers good road network, electricity, and other social amenities, as well as opportunities for economic growth. Ironically, these young aspiring people leave behind numerous cities in Africa that are emerging markets where the real opportunities they seek are located in these cities rather than the saturated economies with no opportunities to fresh immigrants. These beautiful African cities are amazing places to live in because they have security, they are emerging markets with many business and career prospects and they have basic infrastructure, as well as many attractions for recreation. Besides that, they have the warmth of African friendliness and hospitality. So, in no particular order, here are the 15 most beautiful and world-class African cities. But before we get into that, if you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Let's get straight to the point. Number 15 on this list, Cape Town, South Africa. Cape Town is the second most popular city in South Africa. Located at the base of Table Mountain and right on the Atlantic Ocean, Cape Town has it all. The city is home to a string of beautiful beaches and a plethora of natural attractions like climbing to the top of Lion's Head to view the sunrise or hiking in Table Mountain National Park. It also features the gorgeous Kistenbosch Botanical Garden and there is an opportunity to see wild African penguins just about 30 minutes outside the city center. It might amaze you to know that Cape Town is one of the three capital cities in South Africa. Legislative functions are carried out here. The other two capital cities are Pretoria and Bloemfontein. These two host executive and judicial activities, respectively. Cape Town is called the Mother City. Its 4.6 million inhabitants definitely find it to be so. The city is also culturally rich and home to a myriad of museums, galleries, and historical attractions like Robben Island, where Nelson Mandela was imprisoned for 27 years. When it comes to dining and shopping, Cape Town has excellent restaurants and contemporary shops. Don't miss the lively Victoria and Alfred waterfront, which is home to both. Next on the list is Cairo, Egypt. Cairo is Egypt's capital and the largest city in the Middle East. Built on the River Nile banks, Cairo is regarded as the city that never sleeps. It is surrounded by several regions which have some of the world's longest recorded history. Cairo is famous for its own history, preserved in the fabulous medieval Islamic city and Coptic site in Old Cairo. At its heart, you'll see Tahrir Square and gilded King Tutankhamun artifacts. Also nearby is Giza, where you'll find Egypt's most famous attractions, the iconic pyramids dating back to the 26th century BC, and the Great Sphinx. Top Cairo attractions include the Egyptian Museum, which is filled with millennia worth of antiquities and artifacts, including mummified bodies of ancient rulers. For panoramic city views, you'll want to visit the 187-meter-high Cairo Tower in the Zamalek district of the Gezira Island suburb. Number 13. Tunis, Tunisia Tunis is the capital of Tunisia and offers shopping centers, sandy beaches, nightlife, traditional markets, cuisine, and historical architecture, which therefore make it a very famous destination. As a matter of fact, most citizens migrate from different regions of the country to Tunis to improve on their standards of living. It has a population of about 2,700,000 inhabitants, making it the center of the country's economic and commercial activities. The government of Tunisia developed Tunis to make it compete globally and make it one of the best cities in Africa. 
Among Tunisia's tourist attractions is its cosmopolitan capital city of Tunis, the ancient ruins of Carthage, the Muslim and Jewish quarters of Jeraba, and coastal resorts outside Monastir. The city is also known for its golden beaches, sunny weather, and affordable luxuries. Everyone has a place in Tunis. The city has a high life expectancy, with an average person living up to 74.6 years. It is among the first Muslim cities to become a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tunis has an ever-increasing manufacturing sector, and the gross domestic product of the city is on the increase. The city also hosts the annual Carthage Film Festival, a celebration that has grown to attract foreigners from all over the world. If that doesn't fascinate you, then the city's thermal baths, the Al Zaytuna Mosque, or one of the many attractive markets definitely will. Number 12. Nairobi, Kenya Nairobi is the largest and capital city of Kenya. It is one of Africa's most leading cities financially and politically. The city has high skyscrapers in the downtown, which gives the country a modern look. Also, the modern architecture and traditional African styles, plus culture and historical sites, make Nairobi different and unique. And on the continent, it is among the cities with the best infrastructure. Nairobi is blessed with abundance of fauna found in wildlife reserves. The Nairobi National Park is even described as the world's only wildlife capital. It has about 100 mammal species and 400 migratory and endemic bird species. Also, the city is home to over 4.9 million people. The indigenous culture of the people is displayed live in the Bomas of Kenya. The Kazura Beat Factory, which produces small and beautiful gift items, and the Kenyatta International Conference Center serve as two other important landmarks. Number 11. Kampala, Uganda Many people have heard about the charm of Lake Victoria, but only a few know that the equally charming city of Kampala opens up to it. A boat ride on the lake usually sets the tempo for an interesting city tour. Kampala is Uganda's business center and capital city, built on seven hills. Most people around the city speak English and are friendly, hence it's not a problem if you need to interact with a number of them. It hosts various traditional sites, religious sites, craft shops, rewarding nightlife, affordable transport means, international hotels, restaurants, events and festivals, banks and ATM machines as well, in case you need some money. The Uganda Museum explores the country's tribal heritage through an extensive collection of artifacts. There is Lubiri Palace, the former seat of the Buganda Kingdom. Number 10. Dar es Salaam, Tanzania Dar es Salaam is the economic and political nerve center of Tanzania. It is the third fastest growing African city. It enjoys tropical weather all year round. It is home to the famous University of Dar es Salaam, the oldest as well as the largest public university in Tanzania. There is also an easy access to basic education as the primary education is free. Similarly, the city is blessed with beautiful attractions, exciting things to do and see, welcoming people, and memorable experiences. The city is home to many foreigners from Asia, India, the US, and even Europe. Dar es Salaam's Kariaku shopping district is considered the busiest and largest in East Africa. Here, you'll find many shops, merchants, bazaars, and a few hawkers selling a variety of items ranging from hardware materials like cement to foodstuffs. Anything you want to buy, you can find. Number 9. Lagos, Nigeria Nigeria's largest city, Lagos, is also the country's richest metropolis and its financial epicenter. The city is also where you come if you're hoping to make a name for yourself in Nigeria's thriving film and music industries. 
mainly dream of appearing on stage at Freedom Park, which served as a prison during the colonial era and is now a popular concert venue. The city is the main economic spirit of Nigeria, despite not being the capital city of the country. It has the strong presence of notable companies, educational institutions, and top-notch amenities. The city is an interesting place to live, friendly people, and unforgettable experiences. Victoria Island is a popular destination for tourists as it has some of the best beach resorts, lively restaurants, and shops and boutiques in the city. For a dose of culture, head to Lagos Island, where you'll find the National Museum of Lagos, which is filled with cultural artifacts. Number 8 on the list is Marrakesh, Morocco. Morocco's fourth largest city, Marrakesh, is a mesmerizing place to visit, filled with ancient architecture and modern culture. It's got such a nice balance. In the western part of the country, Marrakesh is home to a vibrant medieval world Medina, which dates back to the Berber Empire. You'll want to spend some time wandering its narrow maze-like streets, where you'll find silks selling all sorts of traditional goods from jewelry to spices to textiles. Another one of Marrakesh's must-sees is the 12th century Kutubia Mosque, with its Moorish minaret that forms an integral part of the city skyline. Also, don't miss new attractions like the Museum of African Contemporary Art, Al Madin, and the galleries making up Marrakesh's adjoining art scene. Let's go to the next on this list, which is Windhoek, Namibia. As the economic, social, cultural, and political capital of Namibia, it's the location of most government institutions. Though a relatively small city, it has a bubbling business district which has trendy shopping malls, bars, and restaurants. It has adequate healthcare services and has good educational institutions. Windhoek's red roofs and brown trees make a radiant sunset scene. A closer look at the capital city shows a unique pattern of development inspired by German, African, and British cultures. For instance, there is the Hero's Acre. This part of the capital is developed to celebrate the country's independence. Windhoek also offers warm native art and craft displayed in stores at the Namibia Craft Center. The city is pedestrian-friendly and quite walkable. You could also visit the German castles, neo-baroque cathedrals, and modern skyscrapers, which dominate the city's skyline. Number 6. Accra, Ghana Accra, the capital city of Ghana, is a modern city with classic bars, restaurants, shopping malls, and nightclubs. It also has a flourishing real estate sector, Little wonder it has become a favorite vacation destination for upper-class Africans and tourists, especially Nigerians, who take a short flight to have leisure in their weekend homes in Accra. The Ghanaians are very friendly people, and their tropical environment is very much favorable. There are mainly highbrow areas and also nice spots for evening hangouts, making it an amazing city to live in. The city is also home to gold sand beaches like Labadi Beach and Cockrobite Beach and boasts a tropical climate. Much, much fun to have. Number 5. Addis Ababa, Ethiopia Addis Ababa is registered as the political capital of the continent due to its many political organizations. It has world-class road networks, buildings, and other social amenities. This makes it an ideal place to visit and live. It has historical, diplomatic, and political significance. It is located at the center of Ethiopia and has a population of over 4.4 million people. One of the city's biggest fears is a network of roads that lead to other Ethiopian cities. The mountainous lands around it also form a peculiar backdrop against tall buildings and shopping centers. Talking about shopping, Addis Ababa has one of the largest open-air markets in Africa. So my dear shoppers, ladies, you've got a spot. 
It is known as Mercato. The city streets also hold their own wonders in the form of monuments that tell a particular story. The drag is set as a reminder of North Korea's presence in Ethiopia. Number 4. Algiers, Algeria European and Arab influences blend together in Algeria's capital city, Algiers, which is often referred to as the Paris of North Africa. The visually beautiful city sits on a bay on the Mediterranean coast and is home to some gorgeous beaches. There are also cosmopolitan restaurants, shops, and tourist hotels. It has some of the amazing monuments that were constructed to mark important events and dates in Algeria's history. There are many spectacular places with beautiful sandy beaches and fascinating landscape. The old town is filled with steep windy alleyways and palaces left over from the Ottoman Empire. The Quechua Mosque is another top place to visit. It dates back to the 17th century and has two large minarets. We just got to the top three. This makes things more exciting. Third is Port Louis, Mauritius. Port Louis is the capital of Mauritius and the main economic and political base for the citizens in the country. Disregarding its spectacular waters will still make this city a sight to behold. Port Louis has an intricate design that features flowers and giant palm trees, stone walks, and an array of buildings. There are also a number of casinos for leisure. The biggest one of these is the Cowden Waterfront Casino. If you love monuments, Fort Adelaide will catch your attention. The British built it many centuries ago as fortification. Another intriguing structure is Marie René de la Paix. This particular one offers a good view of the port city. Port Louis has three museums, a 19th century theater, and an equally old horse race track, Champ de Mars. In addition, the Mauritian street food and everything in Chinatown will definitely spice up a visit to the capital city. The presence of the port facilities, manufacturing industries, and tourism sites make it a financial hub. Its cuisine, history, and city architecture draws tourists from all walks of life. At number 2, we have Johannesburg, South Africa. Johannesburg, or Joburg, or Josie, is South Africa's largest city and one of Africa's most wealthy and modern. It hosts skyscrapers, world-class hotels, and a host of restaurants that can rival those in major Western cities like New York. It has a lot of investment and career opportunities, making it favorable to reside in. It is clean and has world-class shopping malls, and its airport is one of the best in the world. It is also the financial and industrial metropolis of South Africa, built on a rich history of gold mining. The city is rapidly evolving from edgy safari stopover to a vibrant hub for arts and culture. The city center is home to attractions like the not-to-be-missed Apartheid Museum. But the suburbs here are also notable and where most of the hotels and restaurants are located. First on this list, we have Kigali, Rwanda. Rwanda's capital city is known for being one of Africa's cleanest cities, set in the middle of the country and just a 2.5-hour drive from Volcanoes National Park, where tourists come to trek to see Rwanda's mountain gorillas. It has an excellent geographical location for exploring this emerging destination. The central business district has several modern architectures springing up in recent times, among which are the new 20-floor New Kigali Tower that hosts several offices and departmental stores. The diverse wildlife of the country is a great attraction to tourists and it's home to the exotic mountain gorillas. Kigali is abundant with wonderful housing developments to reside in. The weather is moderate most of the time and there are varieties of exciting activities and good social amenities for the residents. The people are friendly and always welcoming. Aside from being beautiful, it is also adventurous. 
The city is rich with African art displayed in over 10 art galleries. One of them, Neo Art Gallery, extends profits to sponsor street kids, learning how to sing, drum and dance. That's a beautiful initiative. Another special thing is the Gahanga Cricket Stadium. It was constructed from the proceeds of a 51-hour battling world record by Rwanda's cricket team captain, Eric Dusungizimana. The stadium and the city's mini cafes offer a taste of culture and really, really great views. Can't wait to see you there. Thanks for watching, and that concludes on our coverage of the 15 most beautiful and world-class African cities. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, and also share it with your friends.